I think everybody's been to summer camp before. Some camps are fun, others not so much. I went to the summer camp that was uh, in between. There were some good moments and some really weird moments. So let's jump right in. So when I was in fourth grade, I went to this summer camp. I knew most of the kids like from barbecues, but we weren't really friends. Anyways, we took a bus ride to the camp. Halfway through, they put in like Monsters Incorporated, I think, on the TV. Then the TV froze like seven minutes in. Two hours later, we made it to the camp and got a quick tour. Then we hit the hay. Anyways, the next morning, we were assigned teams. I was put in yellow. Personally, I wanted to be on the green team, because it's cool. I don't want to be the piss color team. So it all began when the yellow team hiked up the mountain. And about halfway up to the top of the mountain, the leader stopped us and said she had a surprise for us. We were going ziplining. So we all lined up to take turns on the zipline. Soon this kid started freaking out, said he, saying he couldn't do it. But then he said he was brave enough. Then he said he was too scared to do it. Then this went on like for like seven minutes. Then he decided he was too scared and walked back down to the cabin. Then it was my turn. Anyways, later that night, we had this indoor concert. It was so loud, my eardrums stopped working. The next day, we went and did capture the flag in the woods. Some kid also found a snake. Then he just randomly started stomping on it. After that, we had free time where they let us do anything for an hour. During that free hour, I had an idea. I got my backpack out and scavenged whatever there was on the bottom of it. I found like five lollipops, a squishy ball, and a broken fidget spinner. After I took those things out, I started walking around camp and selling them to little kids. Eventually, your businessman here made 15 bucks. I used the money to get like 40 Otter Pops, like any other 9 year old would. We still had some free time left, so I went down by the soccer pitch to play some Gaga Ball. If you don't know what Gaga Ball is, you should look it up. It has to be a professional sport. Anyways, after a few rounds of Gaga Ball, these two guys started getting in a fight. I walked over there to see what was going on. It was actually really dumb what they were arguing about. They were arguing because the other person cut the line in front of them. Then they started ca calling each other names. It was honestly really funny. Anyways, after that, it was cabin time, where we spent like one hour in our cabin. Anyways, once I got to our cabin for one hour time, there was a commotion near the restroom area. I went over there to see what was going on. And I found out that our one and only toilet was clogged with poo. It was kind of freaking out because I laid a large dump there only an hour ago and forgot to flush. These group of kids then started shooing everybody out of the bathroom by spraying them with water sprays they found under the sink. This group of kids said they were going to unclog the poop out of the toilet. And if we attempted to go in the restroom, they would whack us with plungers. Also, after that, they got some cleaning powder from under the sink and powdered it at the entrance of the restroom. They did that, so if anybody tried to sneak in the restroom, they would check if there were any footprints. Right as I was being chased out of the restroom, some kid got pants right in front of me. A few moments later. It was complete chaos. Everyone agreed that as long as you were in your bed, it was a safety zone for no pantsing. I just stayed in my bed the whole time and watched the show in front of me. My friend hopped up on a beam supporting the roof saying that no one could get him. But he was wrong. After that, he was known as the dangling kid. Anyways, this 11 year old came up and announced to the whole cabin, I am the god of pantsing. He was also wrong about that. Then the water started slowly coming out of the restroom. 
some annoying kid who said he was going to fix the toilet made it worse by flushing it a million times. Anyways, after getting everything sorted out, we had a good night's sleep. <laughs> Today, all the camp leaders wanted us to dress up as our favorite fruit. They said it would be more fun if we did that. I don't know. So I dressed up as a Tootsie Roll. Anyways, this other girl from a different cabin also dressed up as a Tootsie Roll too. So everybody was shipping us, which was kind of awkward. Also, at the end of the camp, there were some cougars eating out of a dumpster, which everybody thought was pretty cool. And if you were wondering who won for Team Spirit, Blue Team won. Then we rode home. On the bus there, they put on Finding Dory, but that movie just froze too. But who even had the idea of shoving 29 year olds in a cabin and calling it summer camp? That dude was dumb. Also, before we got to the buses, I swear I saw some naked kid running around in the woods. We did it, we got to 50 subs. Thank you guys so much. This is only just the beginning of our adventure through YouTube. And since you guys got it to 50 subs, like I said, I will make a Christmas video. And also remember, videos are every Tuesday. And if you liked my art, please check out Purple Flamenco 9 on Pixel Art. Also, leave a comment on what you guys thought. See you in the next video. Mr. Sock, out.